Hello guys and welcome to my channel. I'm Black Operation One and welcome to a proper a proper commentary uh, video on Phasmophobia. Usually I don't do commentary or a voiceover or whatever you want to call it on a Phasmophobia video because usually I record them through NVIDIA GeForce, which sometimes one doesn't capture my voice, which stupid no matter how many times I try and set it up, it doesn't catch my voice. And secondly, I just use that to record, you know, certain hunts or little clips and whatever, etc, etc. And then they just upload straight to YouTube, okay? So, I thought it's about time because Phasmophobia, you know, it's just one of my favourite games. And therefore, like, ghost hunting sort of horror games. And there's a lot of traffic coming to this channel. So, I thought it's about time I actually did a proper Phasmophobia video and some proper Phasmophobia content. Okay, so if you haven't checked out my Phasmophobia playlist, there is a link at the top there in the top right. Go and click that, check out my content, some great Phasmophobia hunts on there if you like that type of thing. And uh, yeah, so let's get to it. So first of all, we need to select a job. Now, I'm not going to be... let's go Willows. Yeah, and I always go professional. Never anything else but professional. Um, I'm not going to be doing a tutorial guide kind of thing, but if you want to see that, because I know there's a lot of people that watch my content, and are in my community on Discord, which by the way, link in the description if you want to join Discord. Um, there's a lot of people within the community and who watch my content who are kind of new to the game and want to play the game, but obviously they're too scared. You know, you can admit it. You know, this game is rather ambient and rather scary. I used to be shit scared of this game. I never used to like playing this solo, but I've played it enough now to learn each ghost individually and to kind of learn what to look for and what parts are the scary parts and what parts are not and basically what not to be and what to be scared of in other words okay so uh, like i said it's not going to be a tutorial um i will give hints tips and some little tricks and explain some things but it's not what i plan on doing okay looks like whoever was here left in a hurry right okay so objective boards is, you know, objectives, tells you objectives, so objective ones, cover what type of ghost it is, what we are dealing with, sorry. That there is on every hunt, no matter where you go, that is objective one. Objective one pays the most XP, and when, if you can get the ghost type right, that is. Objective two um, pays the second most XP out of the objectives, so objective one and objective two is the main ones you want to concentrate on. Okay? So we have, have a memory team escape the ghost during a hunt. And we have an object three, prevent the ghost from hunting with the crucifix, and object four, detect the ghost presence with a motion sensor. Uh, name is Helen Moore. Helen Moore, I must remember that because I have bad memory when it comes to the names. So Helen Moore. And uh, yeah, so to the objectives quickly. Objective one and two, main important ones. Objective one, definitely important. That's the most important for XP. Objective two is great XP return for that. So you want to concentrate on one and two. But if you have very difficult ones for three and four, like the crucifix ones can be a pain in the ass. Don't get me wrong. They can be a pain in the ass, especially now that the ghosts are, can roam a lot more and wander. That can be a pain in the ass. But yeah, so three and four are not necessary. You don't need to do them. Obviously, they give you XP if you do them. It's nice to get a perfect round, but they are not a necessity. But yeah, we are on the Willows, which is the brand new map, new Phasmophobia map, new street house map, whatever. And it's freaking fantastic. It's probably one of the best maps I have played in a while. You know, once you play the maps over and over again, they start getting stale and boring, but this one just adds a lot of new things to play with. One, there's no hiding spots. Um, you know, like like uh, lockers and cupboards you can hide in. You have... Oh, I've seen the bone. Nice. Uh, I'm looking for the breaker, because when professional, you have to flick the breaker, okay? Breaker doesn't come on like it does on any other amateur or whatever, okay? So you need to do that. Just bear that in mind if you play professional. And there's the boat. So yeah, um, what was I saying? So yeah, so Willows doesn't have um, like normal hiding spots or lockers, cupboards. That was that was. Please don't tell me that was floating ore because we didn't do a whoosh. So if it was, it finished. Before I got here. Watch I hope. I hope. <laughs> I just saw this light come towards me. Okay. So it might be in there, it might not be. 
Okay, I'm trying to talk and concentrate at the same time. I can't do it. I've never done this. This is new to me. I've never really done a full commentary and played Phasmo. So yeah, I'm trying to do, you know, my muscle memory for this game isn't ideal when I'm trying to talk. Uh, in this cupboard is a voodoo doll, which gives you some interaction points. So make sure you grab that. It's easy. Easy points. But yeah, so again, I would explain there's no lockers, there's no cupboards in this on this map. You have to rely on hiding spots, and there is some very good hiding spots. I will do, you know, I'll show you in this in this uh, in this hunt. I heard you. Are you roaming in the hallway? Hmm. Okay, I think this ghost is a super roamy hallway ghost, which is gonna suck. <laughs> it's going to suck. Absolutely suck. Okay, so as you can see, I just dropped all my equipment because I'm playing solo. That means I can bring in more. I'm actually not going to bring in the camera. So usually I bring in the camera when I'm playing with you know, a duo, co-op, or a team. But I'm not going to bring that in now. I'm going to bring in the spear box, the spear book, and the UV. Okay? Very important things. Two very important things here. UV and spear book. Okay? We get both of these, and we have to test for EMF if we get both of them. I don't think it's actually touched anything. It's walking around, but I don't think it's actually touched anything. So I don't think we're going to get fingerprints just yet. I've heard no doors opening. I've heard no lights going off. So yeah, no fingerprints as of yet, I don't think. Which is fine. Now, if it's wandering... I'm going to put this in here. Usually, if I get wandering hallway ghost, then I heard the door. Thank you. So no fingerprints this side, no fingerprints that side. So this really. I don't know where the ghost is. I just took it. I think the ghost is there. That, if I did get the ghost photo, that's a shit ghost photo, but that's fine. I'm not really here to why well, I'm here to. And we got freezing temperatures, okay. So where are you? You garage or you in here? You're in here, okay. So this is the main part of the ghost room. And actually scared me, by the way. That actually did scare me. As you probably saw, I spanned around rather quickly. I wasn't expecting. I wasn't expecting her to show herself that soon. Jeez. But yeah, that made my hair stand then. Um, I'm just going to double check to see if I actually did get the ghost photo. Oh, it's a free star as well. Beautiful. Beautiful. So, she was closer. She was closer than what I thought. Alright, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. So now we need to take in some cameras. So let's do this. Can I please go on there? Thank you. Uh, actually, I'm just going to go like that. Carry this one in. Uh, doesn't. So this is an EMF reading, okay? So activity reading, which you can usually or used to be able to easily determine whether it was an EMF five ghost off that. Oh shit! Hang on. Let me grab another item. Um, but they've changed it now. You can still kinda. Work out if it's an EMF 5 ghost off that. But it takes a little. I need a motion sensor actually, just put that way. A little bit of. Mathematicals. Time. Intelligence. Yeah. But like I said, it can still be done. I'm not going to teach you that because that's, uh, that's not really my expertise. My expertise is to here to find the ghost because I am. A Ghostbuster, whether people believe me or no, I am a Ghostbuster. Touch another door. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to leave this camera right on the corner, facing in there, just in case orbs are in there. I'm going to double check again for UV uh, fingerprints. Yeah, this is definitely not a fingerprint ghost. Okay, so. cool, cool, cool. Let's see if it's spear box. Where are you? How old are you? Where are you? Are you friendly? Where are you? How old are you? 
Are you friendly? Where are you? How old are you? Are you friendly? Where are you? How old are you? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you kindly. Okay. Um, no. What am I doing? Okay, so we've got... Right, so we've got freezing... We've got freezing temperatures. We've got spirit box. Still open and closing doors. So loves touching things. We've already got the ghost photo as well, and the bone. Okay, so those are two main important photos you, photos you need. No matter where you're going, or what you're hunting, or finding, or whatever. Uh, did I not turn the light off? I thought I kept it off. Did I turn it back on again? Dopey. Dopey. So yeah, those are the very two main important photos you want. Okay, bone. And the bone can be anywhere. Believe me, sometimes the bone don't spawn, but it can be anywhere. But yeah, the bone photo and the ghost photo is the main two you want. And we have all three evidence. Ha ha! Nice. Cool. Thank you. I could take a picture of the door to get an interaction. But sometimes it doesn't register. I don't... I, mm, yeah. I think they've done the sign to the door interaction photos. Because sometimes I've done it and it's like, uh-uh. Computer says no. So yeah. We could get, because there's no fingerprints, we could get footprints. Let's actually do that. What's my thing? Uh, team escape, no easy. Uh, ghost from hunting, crucifix. Okay, so also we need to determine what ghost this is, don't we? Spirit box. Um, we got ghost writing, and we have freezing temperatures. So we have. A, oh, I've just done it again. Why do I keep doing that? Oh, well, I'll just waste my perfect round, but never mind. That's be, right, I will explain why I keep doing that, okay? So I've just come off recording... Most sense has gone, nice, that's subject done. I've just come off recording Stream of Life Simulator for my main channel. So yeah, I'm pressing those buttons. I <laughs> must admit, I should be doing that really. See, I told you, I'm just pressing those buttons. And it's hunting. Shit. Okay, 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 okay. There it is, come on, see me, 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 see me. You hear that hobby? That means the ghost saw me. I need to be quiet. Um, okay. Um, uh, I've just shit myself. <laughs> oh god, I thought that ghost was gonna find me. So that spot you just saw me hiding behind that chair, that is a very, very good spot. Okay? I've only ever, and I mean this, okay? Believe me or not, but I've only ever been caught once. He spawned right in front of me. Close the doors as well. I'll explain in a minute. Explain in a minute. Let's get out of here so I can talk. <laughs> Please don't hurt me again. Open the bloody door. Thank you. Right. Okay. Whew. Right. I was about to kind of just say why is it chain hunting me, but I just remembered it's a demon. 
Okay, so there's two things you need to know about edema, but I'll explain that in a minute. I'll try and explain what I was going to say. What was I going to say? Yeah, so hiding spots. Okay, that chair, I've only ever been caught once, but that was my stupid own fault, to be honest with you. I lured the ghost into the room to test it out. But apart from that, I've, that is probably one of the best hiding spots in the game. There's actually a couple very good hiding spots. There's one down in the basement and that chair. That chair, you got a very, very slim chance of actually being... Why? Oh, it's print the close on the crucifix. Okay. Um, you got a very slim chance of actually being caught. Yeah? A very slim chance of being caught behind that chair during a hunt. Okay, so yeah, two things about your demon. One, oh, I can't really show you because my sanity is quite low, but with the demon, demons will hunt you from 70% sanity now. Alright? So usually a typical ghost, it's about 50%. Alright? With a demon, it's 70%. Okay, so if you're at 70% sanity, don't think you're safe if you're going against a demon, um, because you're not, alright? Demons will hunt you at 70% sanity. Second thing about a demon, yeah, a demon will chain hunt. So once it's hunt you once, it's got a chance of hunting you over and over again, alright? Um, that's the two main things that you need to know about a demon, alright, personally, okay? And there is an easy way of testing out for a demon. Um, we need a Ouija board for that. I don't have a Ouija board. But I'm going to be trying something here, which I'm kind of worried about here. So, if I go quiet, that's what I was worried about. And, of course, it's spawned in front of me. I could die here, guys. I could die here. I could die here. I could loop it. I could loop this ghost. But I did warn you I might die here. Because I'm risking not taking sanity pills. Because my plan is to get that second objective done. But I think I will take sanity pills. That hunt seemed short. I think it cancelled its own hunt then, by the way. I don't think that was a full hunt. That seemed a little short. But then, I don't know. I don't know. It might have been a full length hunt. Um, I'm going to take some sandy pills. I can't do what I was going to do because it's a little bit scary. <laughs> Especially against a demon. With the chain hunting ability. Especially if it's going to hunt me when I can't even get anywhere to hide as well. That's, that's annoying. Right. Back on track. So we need to do this crucifix objective. I also need to do photos. I need to make up for the one I accidentally took as well, which is fantastic. So it was spawning... It spawned a couple of times here and here. And I've missed my salt patches now. Thank you. So I was going to do... I do have another salt, I suppose. I was going to get some foot step. Footprint photos. Okay, Footprint photos are brilliant if you can't. The easiest way to fill in up, right? So, okay. Start fresh with the photos, right? I told you I, did, I knew this. Stuff. I did say this wasn't going to be like a tutorial guide, but it's kind of turning into one now. <laughs> it's fine. So yeah, photos. All right, are a big, big thing in this game. You got the two main photos, which is the bone photo, and you have the ghost photo. They're the two main money and XP gained photos you can get. All right. And then you want to fill up your basically your book, your journal, with even more photos. Fingerprints are the best way of doing it. If you've got a fingerprint ghost, you can go you can go ham on it. Yeah? Take as many fingerprints as you possibly want. You can just even fill your book up with fingerprints. Okay. Obviously if you get a ghost writing book, you can get two interactions from that, because you can carry you can bring two ghost writing books so you can get two interactions from that. But if you can't get fingerprints, then you're going to start struggling with, okay, then it's just going to have to be interactions. But salt, you can get, obviously, you know, footy, footy prints from the salt. And they give you good money. They basically, like that, there you go. Come on. 
Okay. So I took four photos then, um, which um, might have just missed that last one, but that's fine. So yeah. So salt footprints. Easy. All right. You can fill up your journey with them and gain some good money and uh, XP from them, unless it is a wraith. If it's a wraith, you got no chance. But what's good about the wraith is fingerprints. Okay. Wraith gives you fingerprints. No footprints. Wraith is the only one that doesn't leave any footprints in the soul. Alright. But apart from that, yeah. So there is ways, obviously, you can get a decent amount of money from pictures or from your photo camera if you haven't got a like a fingerprint ghost. Alright. That's like the certain things I enjoy. I enjoy fingerprint ghosts, I enjoy EMF ghosts, and I mainly enjoy gin poltergeist and uh, spirits they're brilliant ghosts they're my three favorites i would say spirits can be a little bit tedious and boring sometimes but yeah you know they're just spirits aren't they yeah but pot guys because they're moving objects that you can have so much fun with the pole guys from moving objects and the gin because i've every gin i've had is constantly trying to scare the shit out of me and to be honest yeah it does achieve that sometimes it does achieve that Okay, I need to get it to hunt me, which is going to be a pain in the ass. Okay, so I need to concentrate now. No more hints and tips and tutorials. If you want to see that sort of thing, let me know and I will do a video on it. Okay, I just need to fill up my camera. And I need this bitch to hunt. I need it to hunt. Manifest, show yourself. Give us a sign. Write in my book. Give me a sign. Manifest. Do something. Move something. Ah, uh, that's a breaker. I'm just going to get the interaction from the breaker. So you can get an interaction photo from the breaker. Which I'm going to do. Because, yeah. I haven't got to worry about the photos now. Yeah, I can just get this... Get this, uh... This bitch to hunt me. And hopefully... Yeah, eat at the crucifixes if they're in the right spot because this is quite a large room you know I've seen it spawn here a couple times and I can't fucking see the handles now <laughs> so I've seen it spawn here a couple times knocking the door is nice I've seen it spawn here a couple times um, I haven't really seen it spawn here but it might do but then it got a chance to spawn over there over there and there it could spawn anywhere it might even spawn in the room it depends but yeah, we need to do this crucifix and then we are done, guys. We are done. Did I write it in? Demon. Yes. Okay. So we just need this, like I said, this bitch to hunt us. Give us a sign. Manifest. Show yourself. Come get me. Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. Come get me. Come kill me. Hunt me, bitch. Yeah, ghosts hate it when you're mean to them. Absolutely hate it when you're mean to them. Hello, ghosty. I know where you are, and I know where you are. You're in the living room. Which, if you are, I'm going to just pull that one too, and that one there. Make sure everything's open here. Yep, okay, cool, thank you. Now just hunt me, please. Thank you. Put that one there. I'm going to move this one over into the, more into the middle. No, sh there you go, done. See how that crucifix, one of his arms went bye bye. There's a ghost hunting. And that's it. It's simple as that. Anybody can do that. Yeah? And this is with a demon. Demons are actually very hard. Very hard. So this was a, a fine example for a ghost. Perfect to show you guys that you can do it. Yeah? All the objectives done. All but one, because I actually took a photo in the freaking van. I don't know why I did that. But yeah, all done. Let's go. Let's go back. And uh, see that 135 because we're not getting a 140 because of that photo. We don't know, I don't know, we might get 140. The RNG gods might be on our side. No, we got a 35. Back. Okay, so 35 is a good marker. Uh, did I say 135? Did I say 135? Why did I say 135? I don't know why I said 135. <laughs> I meant 35. Um, so yeah, 35 is what you kind of want to look at. You want to go for 35 is a brilliant, brilliant number for the photos. 
but obviously I try and go for perfect each time and uh, yeah I didn't because I actually took a photo in the van but never mind and insurance you only get insurance if you're playing solo okay so if you really want to get the bang for your buck and get the most money out of a hunt on Phasmophobia you want to play solo and you want to make sure you get perfect photos all through your book and obviously all objectives okay so yeah let's have a look so we got 200 XP, but nearly at 443, nice. Uh, it took us a little extra time, usually it doesn't take me 14 minutes. Yes, total time investigating 20 minutes, but you look at the total time inside, because that's the main kind of time you're hunting. Yeah, you're trying to find the ghost. Um, we've had 51 interactions, not too bad. It's only manifested once, or ghost went once. Uh, it's had three hunts, because it's a demon, it will. So yeah, not too bad not too bad at all so i hope you've enjoyed guys if you have enjoyed and want to see more videos like this more proper proper phasmophobia videos and maybe if you guys want to see a more in-depth guide into this game please let me know in the description down below with a comment um not description no in the comment section down below with a comment also like the video and if you're new subscribe and show your support and uh yeah so thank you for watching until next time have fun keep gaming and see you in the next video bye bye